This is a Starbase News Brief. My fellow sentients, it looks like the SpaceX Starship is actually going to launch soon. Here we see retraction of the quick disconnect mechanism, used to supply power and propellants to the Starship itself. The booster has its own quick disconnect mechanism. Down here. Starship 24 is then lifted down so that the flight termination system can be installed. The flight termination system is a set of explosive devices. Here we see a totally independent system, not connected to anything else. It has a computer, a battery, a global position system, and these two components. This one is a detonator, and this one is a set of explosive charges. This is the automatic flight termination system. If the ship travels outside a set boundary, it will automatically destroy itself. It also has this ground command radio receiver. This allows the SpaceX team to blow up the ship if they think it is getting out of control or might endanger others. Installed to automatically be triggered if the ship travels too far off its flight path or remotely at the discretion of the launch commander or whatever they call those civilian guys who turn the keys and blow stuff up. Here you see what's left when a flight termination system on a starship is activated. Explosives are not installed on a rocket system until they are quite sure a launch is imminent. If the world is incredibly lucky, we will see the most powerful rocket ever constructed launch a starship around the world. Here's to a successful launch and safe flight, and to a not-so-distant future with human off-world colonies at Astro Proterra.